Hello guys, welcome back. This video is basically a continuation of last week's video. We are fishing in the Les Pratchett Pond. This is the Huguenot Park. There are two lakes behind me. So first thing first, we're gonna find out where the fish is. This lake is pretty rounded and there's no irregularities. We're gonna see if there are any uh, structures or any bushes nearby and we're gonna start over there. All right guys, chatterbait is the way to go. This water is way too dirty for anything else. All right, here we find some uh, group of uh, trees. I think a fish, you see this tree trunk? Fish loves this thing. And there are some uh, lily pads here. You see, they start to emerge. This is the best place you can find uh, good bass. They love these structures. Okay, Let's see if we can find one. We got one! Nice! First bass on the chatterbait. Look at this bass. Around a pound. Hello guys, we made the right decision to use the chatterbait in this water. You know, this water is very muddy. You either use something very vibrant or you use something very flashy to draw the bass attention. If you use something finesse, they're not gonna see it. And this is the proof, a nice chunky one pounder. Let's get back to it. We're gonna have some more. All right, here you go. Swarm of strong. That's what we like to see. This is a perfect chatterbait condition. Let's get back to it. You know, this is the kind of a high percentage area. This lily pads holds a lot of bass. Especially when they are not fully grown out, you still have a space between those paths. This is the best time you can catch them in this kind of a condition. Chatterbait, let's go. You know, in the less pressured water, you're gonna find some bigger bass. We're gonna need to upgrade. You need the right tackle for this kind of bait. I have a medium heavy ugly stick rod and a 15 pound braid plus a 12 pound floor carbon. This is uh, pretty light considering what I'm doing. I would go for 15 pound floor carbon. Oh, that's another one. This is bigger. Wow, this is certainly bigger. Oh guys, oh, that's why I can't have nice things. I just lost my chatterbait. That was a big fish, guys. At least a four pound. Luckily, I have a backup, but this is my last chatterbait. And I really like the last one. You know what? Since this water is so muddy, I'm not gonna even need my, my leader. I'm gonna tie it on my braid straight. Guys, I really like that one. That's a huge fish we lost. <sighs> that fish is easily four pound plus, I'm telling you guys. 
I gotta take a mental break. I lost my big fish and I lost my lure. Okay guys, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a couple casts, a couple more casts here. And if I couldn't uh, get another bite, I'm gonna go to the dicks and buy another chatterbait. Let's go. That's a good one. Okay, that's another good fish. That is another good fish. Come up. Okay, boy. Now I see this chatterbait is actually working. Hey, what's up? That's a very good community here. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah let me finish it off and talk later. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. This is a nice two pounder, large mouth bass. The second one we got today, we break off a four pounder and it took my cheddar bait, but we had a revenge. This is, might be her children. So if I couldn't get her back, I'm gonna get a bunch of her children back. Let's do it. Okay, here you go. Big boy. There's the app and uh, people would log where they catch fish on the app yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, I just looking for some uh, place has the least of the lot yeah. so it's challenging enough yeah. and they want many people go there so the fish potentially would grow bigger wow. so that's why I'm here I lost the big one yeah. that must be his mama I mean big one he took my bait with it I mean right here wow. this is a revenge You know, with this kind of pond, not many fishermen fish here. Yeah. Because uh, the most, the most challenging thing is that you don't know where to fish. Yeah. Like this kind of bank area is all straight, and there's not much kind of this structure. You know, fish like to hide on these trees, on these needy paths, and uh, like a, this flat, boring area, they're not gonna be here. Uh -huh. So most people can't catch fish here. Uh -huh. But if you know where to find them, you can catch them. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, baby, that's our fish. Oh, that's an even bigger one. <laughs> that's a good fish. That is a good fish. Get it up there. Whoa, that's a good fish. Whoa. Guys, oh, that's a good one. Check this out. This is another female. They are grouped up in this little pass. I mean, when you're dealing with this kind of flat lake and a lot of bank area, it's just boring. And you have a little clump of this lily pass here and with some lay down trees on the side. You know, this is a good spot. And this might be the only spot in this time holds the good fish. Let's get this back and we're gonna get some bigger ones. Chatterbait is the champion today. I lost the gold blade chatterbait and this is the silver blade. It worked just as well. I am so glad. You know, fishing at this spot, sometimes it can be very confusing because you don't know if you hook up a lily pad or you hook it up a fish. The good thing about using the braid on your chatterbait is that you can just rip through those lily pads. If you hook up a fish, you're gonna come up look like a fish. Let's do three more casts here. I stand here long enough that my back start hurts. And uh, I really like this spot though. But uh, it's not very comfortable. 
All right, guys, this is about it. Uh, we did find three good fish around those lily pads, and uh, we lost the big mama there. She took our chatterbait with her. I mean, generally, it is good fishing. Uh, we spent an hour and a half there, and then spent 40 minutes walked over the pond. Instead of uh, catching a fish, I successfully lost another chatterbait. Well, that's quite tragic, but uh, this is fishing, guys. We have to take the downs and ups and uh, just take it easy. So right now I'm gonna go over to the dig spotting goods and pick up some new chatterbaits. And hopefully next time when we come over here, we can catch a bigger one. All right, thank you very much for watching today's video. I'll see you on next one. Peace out. Guys, let's check this out, guys. Now I have four chatterbaits and a bunch of uh, spinnerbaits. I'm gonna come get you, mama.